Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to look at the, uh, you know, open AI other capabilities like text to speech capability and there is a speech to text capabilities. Most of the time we have Spain and created tutorial on actually the text generation capabilities, right? But let's ex explore the other capabilities, text to speech and speech to text in this particular video. So we will do some hands on, right? And if you could remember in the last video, we actually, um, you know, you know explore the other capabilities which is gpt for vision capabilities where we can pass image and we can generate the image description or let's say we pass the product image and we can generate the uh, product description so if you haven't seen this video which i recently uploaded please go and check and see how you could utilize or use this particular capabilities in your project or you know your application also in this particular tutorial i'm also going to share my own experience so for example when i create a video like this let's say the nlp roadmap video where i actually prefer to have some kind of a subtitles that you can see you know down and whenever i use some any other services to generate this particular you know subtitles or the transcriptions it will have a lot of spelling mistakes most of the time g uh, not the gpt whatever the transcription model that service will be using it will be failed to understand or recognize the words like lang chain llama index because these are the recent words and they, it has never seen and whatever whether my indian accent or whatever it fails to recognize and there will be lot of mistakes and if my video is like a 20 minutes video or something it's really you know a time consuming thing to go through all the occurrences of those mistakes and correct them so finally actually i come up with you can see the correct uh, you know uh, the notebook so i use i use uh, gpt4 actually so i used to transcribe my uh, you know using the other service but then you used to use the gpt prompt actually to correct uh, all my spelling mistakes you know and i can share that thing also with you so let's not waste the time uh, this is very pretty quick and you know easy to follow tutorial because we have uh, all the sample code samples and everything you know on open ai site so we will just go through it actually so the speech to text capability and there is a text to speech so let's start with actually the text to speech capabilities where we are going to pass a text now the text could be anything you know it could be your blog post and you want to generate actually the narration for your blog post right so th that could be the typical use case and there are different models they have one of the model is called tts1 as the name tts means text to speech right tts1 and tts1 hd as the name suggests hd it is more uh, you know optimized for the quality so it is a better quality audio but since it has a better quality it will have some high latency so if you care about the real time audio streaming or the low latency service you can go with the tts1 right that you can uh, actually use just like we have two options for the model we also have a couple of options i think we have six options for the voice so whether you want to use these are the different voice that you know the sun rises in the east and sets in the west this simple in the fact heart of has the been city, observed by a human. large park where people go so you can play actually all these voices and see which one is suitable for the typical use case uh, what you want to build right so let's do some hands-on let me go back to my notebook and as usual let's actually install the open ai and we will uh, you know import the open ai and create the open ai client using this client we know we can actually access multiple services so if you look at the api request we're gonna actually hit you know, the audio endpoint so we're gonna use the so where is this text to speech yeah it is here so we're gonna hit the audio dot speech endpoint and then we're gonna use the create method so basically we are creating the speech what it takes as i told you could pass a model tts1 or tts1 hd decide which voice you want to pass you can try multiple and see which one works and then finally the input that you want to transcribe or not the transcribe the input which is the text that you want to create the audio for right and then basically you also require a file where you want to store this particular audio so you need to declare the file path so you can give some name right so let's do this particular thing so i think yeah the library has been installed uh, and let's say it is the same thing so i got some sample text which is actually taken from the steve jobs famous speech so i just took some snippet of that text and let's say we want to convert this text into the audio so this is the name of the audio file that i want it to be saved and as i said we're gonna use tts1 and one of these voice all the voices are here let's use one of these and simply write to the file so once this request is successful we should see the file called steve job speech generator let me check here yeah the file is appearing here right and then you can actually uh, 
play this particular uh, you know thing so it's getting downloaded and if i play this thing time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the results of other people's thinking don't let the noise of i hope you are able to hear the uh, you know audio of my system so that you can see so it was very natural if you see it doesn't look like artificial uh, you know voice as the other option we have is actually hd right so we saw there are the other models also we could use which is the hd so let's use this model now and uh, where it is here so let's use this particular hd model and maybe we store it also called hd and let's maybe run the same request now we should see one more file coming which is underscore hd okay so we got this file let's look at that file also hd your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the results of other people's thinking don't let the noise okay this is i think something better maybe you can try on some audio uh, you know some different text which is difficult or something like that right so we just saw we can convert our text to you know uh, speech which is also pretty uh, you know uh, easy and something that we should try what if we have different languages so actually they support a lot of different languages you know uh, i think uh, there are many languages they support right one of them languages hindi also what they supported so let's see i am using uh, you know some hindi text what i have and uh, i use just tts1 model voice i just select one of them and let's use some different file name let's say i use something called different language.mp3 and then i run so the output of this particular text uh, you know that audio should be hindi audio and you could use anything like german or whatever supported language and let me hear this thing jis cheez ko aap chahte hain usme asafal hona jis cheez ko aap nahi chahte usme safal hone se behtar hai okay so this was pretty good very natural uh, kind of thing right so we just saw this capability that uh, we can take any text whether it is in english language or some other language and we can generate the speech out of it or the audio file out of it right and the typical popular use case could be you have written the blog post but now people are not uh, you know comfortable reading it so you just simply put a audio file where they could listen now let's look at the other capability which is the speech to text the other way now i got already the file let's say i got this uh, audio file i want to convert back to let's say this particular text right so we could use the speech to text capabilities similarly there are two things they provide actually in the speech to text capabilities the first thing is called transcriptions which is nothing but whatever the language so if i have english language uh, audio it will get transcribed into the english text if i have hindi audio it will uh, uh, let's say get translated transcription will generate into the hindi but what is translations translation will do the two things first it will you know so basically no matter which language audio is it will always get converted into the uh, actually the english text so even if i have the hindi audio it will go to the you know the english text or something that is what my understanding let me check once again so transcribe audio into whatever the language the audio is that is correct translate and transcribe the audio into english yeah yeah so basically if it is hindi first it will get translated into the english and then finally transcribe will actually happen so let's look at uh, that thing also here so we will use that hd uh, what we generated just recently generated and then we gonna uh, you know uh, use this model called whisper so for the speech to text uh, they have model called whisper and the default mode is actually the json format output but we will see the text output uh, you know so that we can print it easily here and then again the same thing uh, you know we need to give the input instead of here text as an input we need to give you a know, file uh, which is the audio file as an input so let's generate the same transcription you know what we just uh, generate the speech out of so you can see your time is limited so don't waste it living someone else's life so which is pretty what you just you know saw here so it is able to uh, take the audio and convert into the uh, text but let's look at our different language which was the hindi so first uh, we will do the translation so basically uh this will what it will happen the translations uh, will do both the things actually you know it will take our hindi convert into the english and then we can see actually the english transcription and but we will also do the transcriptions you know only the uh, small changes which is nothing but we want this back 
जिस चीज को आप चाहते हैं विच इज हिंदी वी वॉन्ट दिस बैक एंड लेट्स वॉट है सो लेट्स डिक्लेयर दैट ऑडियो फाइल एंड लेट्स डू टू थिंग्स ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑडियो वन वी वॉन्ट इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन वन वी वॉन्ट द हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन एंड सी वॉट हैपन्स सो यू कुड सी द ट्रांसलेटेड विच इज नथिंग बट first translated to english and then actually uh, let me minimize this thing it is better to be unsuccessful in what you want than to be successful in what you don't want so it is pretty good translated into english and then you could see the english transcription and jis cheez ko aap chahte hai usme asafal hona jis cheez so it is pretty good we are able to see that original transcript the way we actually you know uh, saw it here right this is good uh, so uh, most of the time people will definitely want to let's say use this service right let's say they are making the audio uh, in let's say english but they want to sorry they make it in hindi but they want actually the english translation right so this is really good uh, you know technique that uh, or the capabilities that we could you know use now next thing is yeah we're going to talk about how do we correct those spelling mistakes for example uh, it is possible that uh, with your accent you know there will be a lot of spelling mistakes on to the whatever the things it is generated right so before that what if your audio file is big so i think uh, they only support up to the 25 mb file but if your audio file is big then what you could do you could break actually that audio file into the multiple small files and then you can call for the each file but while breaking the audio file you don't want to break somewhere in the middle of the sentence right that won't be the good idea because then you will lose some context the half of your sentence will go to the one clip and the half will go to the other clip so what they suggest use some particular library so there is a library i think called yeah called pydub which you could use and which is capable of creating some segments from your audio right so we can decide to take 10 minutes 5 minutes segments from your you know your particular audio so let's look at that thing also so what i will do yeah let's install first of all the pydub and i will take one some long audio so you saw this video nlp roadmap video so i also got the audio of that video downloaded here right and what i will do you can see i can take let's say first 5 minutes of my uh, you know that particular audio and if i uh, let's say let's run this thing and it should give me actually the first 5 minute of my actually the uh, whatever the audio that i have it is still running i think it is writing now a uh, file to the file called sp uh, split speech so if i go back here yeah it came here let's open this file let's see hey hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we going to yeah, so it's actually you can see uh, oh but i asked for a 5 minutes right why oh uh, no 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 yeah it is 5 minutes correct it is 5 minutes uh seven seconds right so it is able to split uh, that particular audio right but uh, to test five minutes will be too much let's test for the only one minute right so let's rerun because uh, we want to test something right so let me take only the one minute audio out of it rather than this you know uh, the five minutes uh, thing because uh, the next thing i was talking about let's say i generated the tra transcription for my video which is like this like in because i let's say i record in english so most of the time what will happen those names right lang chain will not be correct name lama index that name will be you know wrong so i will be using something like this prompt so i will be uh, writing a prompt saying that you know uh, you are given a video transcript which has uh, some spelling mistakes right because that original th transcript will have spelling mistakes and here are some of the terms that you might find the spelling mistakes and what i created i actually created list of the terms where it was making actually mistakes so basically i just use some of the nlp terms here like sentence transformer cohere open ai llama 2 lang chain pine cone all of these name list and they are limited like only have maybe 20 30 these uh, names are what i have right and then i saw all the places where it was making mistake so i simply say that you will be given this video transcript now make sure uh, you use this correct spelling and rewrite the transcript in whatever format it is there right uh, kind of a thing and i also used to tell it since i used to highlight some of these words like you can see the lang chain is highlighted or let's say lang chain sql agent or the sentence transformer so i would say you know whenever you have uh, the terms like let's say the sentence transformer 
I would rather want to have something like this, a title case, sentence transformer, so that I can highlight them rather than having this particular thing, right? So this is how I used to give that transcript to a different prompt actually, and which used to correct, and this has saved a lot of my time actually. So if you're a creator, or you know, if you're using uh, to generate some transcription, simply create actually the list of some of the terms that its model is making mistake. Most likely, those are the terms which are the new and model has never seen. For example, whenever I was using with GPT 3.5, it has never seen this word, maybe the Llama 2, Langchain, Pinecone, because those were the libraries which came after the uh, whatever the GPT cutoff or the it's a knowledge cutoff, right? So this was a really good technique actually to um, use a GPT prompt to correct your transcriptions and then you can add whatever the instructions that you want to add and I was really using it so you can see uh, I had this a separate notebook where I used to actually do all of this you know correct subtitles whenever I upload a video which of this nature kind of a thing for other videos I really don't care about the subtitle only the video in which I'm talking those videos I wanted to have a kind of a subtitle and uh, here you can see this is actually the first minute of my uh, you know actually the uh, audio whatever this thing right and um, it, it works pretty good i have tried this thing for myself you guys can also try and see and share your experience whether you are able to you know correct uh, those transcriptions you know um, all of those things right so yeah this is what i wanted to cover we just covered this both the capabilities which is very powerful and something which we could use in our own uh, you know video uh, one more thing the next video i'm planning to uh, you know cover so we will create a chat GPT or a chatbot using Streamlit, let's say, and we will integrate both these capabilities. So we will have a chatbot which will have a mic so that we can talk. It can take our audio, convert into the text, pass to the chat GPT endpoint. And whenever we get response from the chat GPT as a text, it will convert into the speech so that uh, we have this capability. So we can use it as a voice chatbot. So we can talk in voice and we can also listen uh, the audio or whatever the response what we are getting right if you have any other suggestions for the video let me into the comment right thank you and yes if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe thank you very much